This is my recipe for potato wedges from my pop it in the toaster oven cookbook, which you can buy anywhere. I just did a recipe of hot chicken thighs, and I say that they should be served with potato wedges. So you might want to check out that video, hot thighs, and then make these potato wedges to go with it. Now what I have here is four medium-sized, these are russet potatoes, which is my preference, and you'll want to cut them into one half inch. Once you get them cut up then, they go into a bowl. Go on, get in there. And I'm going to add cold water to cover them. There they are in the water now while they're sitting in there and they will be sitting in the cold water for about 10 minutes. I'm going to mix up my spices. This is where I have a lot of fun. Now these spices are my preference. If you have certain preferences towards certain spice flavors that you like, then you can go ahead and use what you like. I'm going to do a quarter of a teaspoon of all of these and put them all together in a bowl. So this is a, like a jerk seasoning. Here is a curry seasoning. Ginger. Cumin. Paprika. turmeric, and a nice big, let's make that a half a teaspoon of roasted garlic powder. And then I'm also going to add mm, maybe what's close to three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. I'm just going to blend them around a little bit now. It's been 10 minutes that these potatoes have been soaking in the cold water. I am now putting them out on a nice clean towel to drain. And I'm also preheating my toaster oven to 450 degrees. Okay, into the bowl go the spices and then I'm going to add you can use any vegetable oil you want. In this case, I'm going to use sesame oil, which is a lovely flavor. I love that flavor. And now I'm just going to add the potatoes. Now I'm going to mix the spices and the oil. With the potatoes, make sure that they're nicely blended. I want to make sure that each piece of potato is covered well with the spice. Now, the potatoes go into a baking pan. I'm covering this pan with aluminum foil. The oven and I'm going to set the timer for 40 okay, minutes. So now I'm going to remove these potatoes onto a baking pan and I want to spread them out as evenly as I can. Okay now I have the toaster oven set on broil and you'll notice that I put the rack up to broiling level and I'm going to set the timer for 20 minutes. Oh, so good. All the spices have come, come together. Mm. Oh, great meal. Do the hot thighs in your toaster oven.
do the potato wedges, you will have an awesome, awesome meal with these two. Bring on the barbecue sauce. I like to use blue cheese dressing. Vinegar is good. Mm. I think I'll just polish these off right now. <laughs> and buy my cookbook. There's a lot of really good stuff. Pop it in the toaster oven. More exciting recipes in there.